Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's October 15th. Thought I'd come out and give you a shot of how things are looking now. It's thinning out. Trail camera's right there. It's been up there about, well the night, the day I posted the trail camera video. Thought I'd tell you about the problems we're having here in the homestead, the riverfront today. Our well pump, bearings are squealing and our bladder tank ruptured. Like we can afford to fix any of this stuff. Just thought I'd show you what this place looks like now. I'll throw in a couple pictures of what it used to look like and I'll show you what we got going on in the house. Be right back. I'd let you know, you guys know what's going on. Mama just got home. The dogs are very happy. Dance, Bubba, dance. Bubba! Lucy! Dance! Gizmo. Give me dances. That's a gizmo. Give me dances. Come on, give me dances. That's a butchie. And that's a Lucy. Dance, Bubba, dance. Come on! Dance, Bubba. It's your time to shine. Alright guys, this is what we got going on here. These places, like I said, weren't meant to be lived in year-round. Just summer cabins, so... <laughs> the well pump is actually under the kitchen sink. Because there's the well. And there's really no way to relocate it. And uh, the pump bearings are squealing. Here's, they don't do that anymore. Here's our bladder tank. I want to show you, the other day I went to check the pressure in it. Because the pump was running excessively. I have to go up through there to get it. So when I put the pressure gauge on it, I'm getting it. Right, hold on. Yeah. So when I put the pressure gauge on to check the pressure, as you can see, water came out. If you know anything about bladder tanks, that's not supposed to happen, which means the bladder is ruptured, which means our pump runs. On and off, on and off, on and off. So, excessively. Excessively. So, I got a new one of those we're going to put in. We're going to have to figure out how we're going to get a new pump because we just can't afford it at the moment. But here's what it sounds like. Oh. Pretty horrible, don't you think? So, we're going to film this project and put together a video. And we've got something planned for tonight, too. See you in a bit. Hi, Buffy. Buffo. Buffo, Buffo. Hey. Oh, you gonna pray walk? You gonna pray walk for everybody? Goofy girl. Goofy girl. <clears throat> and here's what we got going on with the pump. When these bearings get bad. Sometimes you have to smack it with a hammer to get it to start. Then you know it's getting really bad. But <laughs> this is how it's running. <laughs> Shouldn't go on and off that quickly. So troubles on the homestead. So we got to try to get the water out of this pressure tank, otherwise we'll have 20 gallons of water on the floor. Let's see if this genius idea works. Nope. What's the toilet? Turn the pump off. Just hit both switches. Got too much pressure in it. I opened the faucet, there was no pressure. <laughs> you can shut that off. Well, the genius idea didn't start out too well, but it's working now. <laughs> Maybe I'll go viral with this one. <laughs> Idiot drains pressure tank. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I got a little wet. <laughs> All right, it worked though. <laughs> this is Moron Plumbing 101. Not really though, it worked. I didn't know it was still under pressure. It shouldn't be. Honestly, he knows what he's doing. I mean, he really does, and that just... <laughs> See, the, the idea is working perfectly now. <laughs> We're still going to end up with water on the floor, but... It, it wouldn't be, be the first time. Gallons. It wouldn't be the first time there's been water on this floor. At least it's not too deep. <laughs> water in it. And it's rusty. Imagine if somebody that didn't know what they were doing just came in here and just connected it down there where it hooks up. They'd have all that water all over their floor. And even if you could figure out a way to do it, how do you get a tank full of 20 gallons of water moved when it weighs almost 180 pounds? We're making a mess, guys, but we're getting it. <laughs> Again, not the first time we've had water on the floor. That doesn't phase us. And yeah, we've had two foot of water in this house during a flood before, so this does not bother us a bit. We'll <coughs> maybe show you a video of that someday if we can find it. It'll make you guys cringe, I bet. Made me cry. Well, we got her out. Still made a mess, even draining all that water. But hey, I'm glad I can do this kind of stuff. Imagine what it would cost to hire a plumber to do something this simple. We'll be back. Well, right, guys, we got the new one installed. Just letting the pump fill everything back up again. Gotta say thank you to local hardware. Small town America is great, and you can run a bill or pad and pay it on payday. I thank them immensely for that. Now we'll have to deal with this. Okay guys, <coughs> we're watching the pressure gauge. It was at 50 where it should have been. She's been running water for about 30 seconds. The pump, before we changed the bladder tank, the pump would have come on and off several times already. We should have the pump kick on when it drops to about 34. That's what we're watching for. Man, what a difference that bladder tank makes. Okay, the pump. That is a miracle, guys. A minute and 40 seconds without anything. Kitty.